Hello friends, this is Vishal Patel and in this video we are going to understand the SIP record route header with practical. So this is part 4 of our series diving deep into the SIP. In this video we are going to understand the SIP record route header with the experiment with the practical. To understand the concept of the SIP record route header, please refer my old video and the link for this old video is given on the below description. Also you can find it on YouTube by searching the SIP record route and you will find this video SIP record route header. Okay, so our lab setup, we are going to register the phone 1001 on the IP address 192.168.1.101 and this is my Android mobile phone. So I will register the 1001 extension on my mobile and the IP address is 1.101. My OpenCPS proxy is located at the 1.151 IP address and one more extension 1002 is registered on the laptop and the IP address is 1.102 okay so let's start with the demo once again uh, I will repeat the things please refer my old video to understand the concept otherwise you can't understand this video oh sorry Okay, let's start the demo. First, we registered the extension 1001 on my Android mobile. So, I'll register it on my phone and I'll check the status of the 1001. So, now 1001 is registered on IP address 101. And this is my OpenCPS proxy and IP address is 1.151. I will register one more extension 1002 on my another laptop. So I will take the VNC viewer of my 1.102. Okay, yes. I have already registered the 1002. I can check the status of this extension using the OpenCPS CTL UL SO 1002. Okay, so 1002 is registered on 1.102. So our lab setup is cleared now. Now what we will do is, we will call from my 1001 which is on my android phone to the laptop 1002. So uh, and before that uh, we will start our packet capture tool Wireshark. So I will start the Wireshark before I made the call. I will capture the interface my Ethernet 0 and we are interested only on the C part okay mm, yes now what we will do is from my mobile I will call to the 1002 okay I will dial the number 1002 now I got the call from 1001. I will the call and I hang up. Also here we stop the packet capture. Now here my 1001 which is located at 101 sends the invite request to the proxy server. So here you can see the request URI 
is 1.151 means 1002 at the rate 1.151 now it sends the trying back but we are interested here now proxy sends this uh, 1002 at the rate 1.102 means it forwards the request to the laptop which is on 102 so now the request URI is 1002 at the rate 1.102 and we are interested on this part proxy adds the record route header we can clearly see here so proxy adds the record route header and it sends the request invite request to the 1002 it adds its own address as 1.151 and lose route ng is equal to on on the record route header why proxy adds the record route header okay we will check in the programming part i will open the opencps uh, configuration file and yes here we can see that if method is not equal to register then my proxy will add the record route header and the record underscore route function will add it automatically okay so my request is invite which is not registered that's why my proxy adds the record route header okay now once again we back to the packet capture tool so my proxy adds the record route header and it sends to the 102 now what 102 will do is 102 will get this detail means it it gets the record route header 1.151 so it sends this record route header back to my original soft client which is 1.101 so it sends the request back to the 151 uh, we are interested in 200 ok part only so it sends the uh, request 200 ok to the 151 and 15 uh, means in this request it adds the record route header means it sends back the record route header to the proxy server and proxy will send back to my original client 1.101 so my original client get the detail of the record route means my original client get that record route is 1.151 so now what uh, my original client 1.101 will do it it makes the route header from this record route header and it makes the route header in the descending order means suppose uh, there are uh, two proxy here uh, only one proxy is there but if there are proof two proxy means proxy one and proxy two so definitely it will add two record route header means proxy one will add the record route one proxy two will add the record route two so my original client will get the two record route header one is the suppose one the record route one and another is the record route two so it will make the route header first two means route two and then route 1 means it changed the order of the record route header so it here only one prox, uh, record route so there is no ordering it will only uh, make the route header from this so route header will become the 1.151 so it changes the record route to the route and it sends the acknowledgement acknowledgement message to the proxy server so in the acknowledgement message we see the route header means record route becomes the route and it sends it to the proxy server because why acknowledgement message is not directly sent to the client means to the 102 because of this route header so my phone sees this route header 
and yes the priority of the route is higher than the request URI this request URI is here 1002 at the right 1 1.102 it can send it directly to the 102 but it hasn't sent because the route header is present route header is present that's why the first priority is the route header and here it is written that 1.151 that's why my phone sends the acknowledgement message to the proxy server because of this route header so thank you to the route header now what proxy will do is proxy will find this route header and here we come proxy will find this route header and it sees its own address means proxy sees that yes this is my own address 1.151 so proxy will remove this route header and it tries to find the another route header so proxy tried to find another route header but there are no another route header so it uh, go to the request URI means the first priority is route then the second is request URI there are no another route header that why it goes to the request URI so proxy will go to the request URI part and yes request URI is 1002 at the rate 1.102 so proxy will send the acknowledgement message to the 102 because there are no another route address okay so it sends the packet to 102 once again i repeat that please refer my old video to understand this concept now what we have done is we have hand up the call from my laptop from here okay so we will got the buy request here also buy is not directly sent to my soft client it again goes to the proxy server because of this route header the same way 1001 make the route header 102 also will make the route route header means my laptop client also make the route header but here the route header is in the same order means suppose uh, here uh, it got the two record route means in the this invite in this invite it get the only one record route if it got the another record route says uh, 192.168.1.152 so 102 will make the route header in the same order means route 1.151 is the first and route 1.152 is the second while in the case of the originate soft client it will change the order means it will make in into the reverse order route header it will make into the reverse order while this uh, 102 will make in the same order so once again it makes the record route to the route header and once again it finds that oh this is the 1.151 so it sends the buy request to the 151 it it hasn't sent it to the directly to the 102 because here clearly written that 1001 at the 101 so it can send directly to the 1001 but it hasn't sent because my route header is present once again proxy will find that yes route header is my own ip address so it removes the right uh, route header and it try to find the another route but, but there is no another route header that's why it goes to the request URI and request URI is 1001 at the rate 1.101. That's why it sends the buy request to the 101. Okay. And once again, the 200 OK message is sent back. So now, how proxy finds the, uh, means proxy finds the route header and how proxy will do the routing, we will see in the configuration file here. In my old video, I said that routing using the route header, we call it loose, loose routing. So here, proxy first checks that if route header is present, this loose underscore route function will do that. Means if route header is present, I have to uh, prioritize, uh, means I have to give the priority to the route header. Means if the route header is present, the meaning of this loose underscore route is if route header is present then i have to go back to the route one 
so what route one will say is route one will say that t underscore relay means t underscore relay function will do that uh, it will do uh, priority it will give the priority to the router means it will do the rest of the work means give the priority to the route header then give the priority to the record out header all the work this t underscore relay will automatically do and if it can't do then it will send the error so here we have written that if route header is present then give it to the priority the meaning of this code is okay so i think that's all for this video thank you for watching this video and yes if you like this video please write a comment into the below section it will really encourage me to make more and more videos on this subject thank you once again